is Noor from Four Make Sure Underscore Makeover with another episode of Making Over My Bedroom. As you see, this is my new background. It is actually the accent wall that I built on episode number three in my bedroom. Um, when we got to this house, this room was completely disastrous. There was patches uh, missing from the wall, areas where it's kind of painted but just halfway. Uh, right behind me, there was a huge cable dangling from here to the outside of the house and scratches, dents, a lot of holes where screws and nails were in. So we took everything out, I, I filled all the holes, sanded the wall, cleaned the wall. There's a lot of stains, it looked like food was eaten off the walls um, and more. So making over my bedroom was very important for me because at the end of the day, I just sit here in the bed and I just want to relax and instead I'm just looking at the areas that gives me anxiety. This wall needs fixing, this wall needs fixing. Nothing about it was good for me. And um, this is why I started this project. So I first painted three walls just white and just painting them white made all the difference. It looked bigger, it looks better and I was extremely happy. Um, starting the accent wall was everything. I had a lot of thought about it when I finally built it. It, it was so much different than what I expected it to be uh, in a better way and every day when I come home and I look in my bedroom I just give it a good stare like I did that I did that um, and so it, it's it's a whole other level of joy other than the fact that you have a nicer area in your house place where you can relax and also look at in a way where you're satisfied which is what's really important for me um, Without further ado, let us uh, me show you a few clips of the before, then where we are at up to last episode, and then I'll show you what I worked on this week. This is what the room looked like before, and as you see, it needed a lot of love. This is the wall that have the background where I'm standing in front of right now, the one with the accent wall, and that's the cable I removed. Where the curtain is, is a white wall now, and I had a lot of work done there. And finally, this is the closet side where I actually did all the work this week. After painting three of the walls on my bedroom in white, I 100% decided that I do want to make the entire accent wall in black. I first started painting the frame of the door in black just so that it matched the rest of the room. I know that there's a lot of work needed to be on the door, especially the handle, but I started with the frame and I was satisfied with it. Then I continued the walls and then started with the accent wall. The whole process could be taking a lot less time than I actually take, but as most of you know, I am also working full-time outside of this. So I work at a financial institution outside of this full-time and every day after work, I take a few hours working on one wall or small projects just so that I can get things done as well as weekends. And I barely have time for me to record videos like this one. After starting the accent wall, I went ahead and added those wood. I mentioned before I had a, a hack where I used a, a two by six. We cut it into one by two and we only spent $8 on what could have cost $50 just on the wood and I stained with a, a stain that I already had. So this entire wall didn't cost me more than $50, including the paint and all the materials that I used and the light started and where the room is right now it's time for me to finally show you what I worked on so as you saw there was four pictures in the beginning of the video showing the four walls on where the room started one of the walls had the closet originally I, I wanted the entire side to be just white but after doing this on one side of the room the other side looked naked and needed something and so I was thinking maybe paint the closet doors in white as well but it didn't feel like it would fit that much black opposite more black and so I went ahead and did this. 
as for the closet doors i decided to paint them a white the same shade as i had with the door with the walls so that it matches and for the frame i went ahead and went with my favorite black as well just so that i can give it a little bit of accent i originally was going to remove the doors and spray them outside but it seemed like it's a lot of work and i just decided to be careful although i got some paint on one jacket in the closet i managed to clean it and it's back to new but that was my only loss during this process I then applied a second coat for both the black and the white. For the closet door, it had a wood texture that I really loved so much and I didn't want to ruin it with having thick paint. So what I did was that I used a roller and I would roll it so much on the tray that I have very little paint to apply. And I did have to apply three coats of paint just because I need it to cover everything. But it was perfect because the wood absorbed it perfectly where you can still feel and see the wood grain in the best way that I could imagine. All I need to work on is the ceiling. So my ceiling is popcorn, which I hate it so much. We tried to remove it and it was a different material than what a popcorn ceiling would usually be. So usually you'd be wetting it and try to scrape it off and it would just come off. And in our case, it just didn't. And so we bought a giant ceiling sander. That didn't do it either. It just made a huge mess and it looked almost exactly the same. So we came up with the idea to just cover it with mud and I did that in the hallway and it turned out amazing. So we'll do it again on the bedroom. After that happens with a couple of coats and dry, I'll be painting it white. And from there I'll go. But my, the most recent thing I'll be doing is the door. I don't know if you remembered, but I'll attach a couple pictures after this video showing you how horrible it looks like. It's literally peeling because it looks like they kept adding another coat and another coat and another coat without sanding it, prepping it properly. So it's just dented, peeling. The handle is horrible. Maybe it needs cleaning, maybe it needs replacing, but it's just, it needs work and I'll be doing that work. Uh, most likely that'll be the next thing I do as well as adding mud on the ceiling. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be done with painting it as well, but that's the next thing I'll be doing. Uh, if you don't already follow me, please do so on Instagram at furniture underscore makeover to see my daily activity, all the stories that I post. You'll see my accidents, my learning uh, experiences, everything that I do every day. I don't know anything. I didn't study for this. I don't know anybody in my family that does this for a living. So I just trial, error, watch YouTube videos and, and learn as I go. So you'll get to learn with me. I also have a, a new TikTok channel that also is called Furniture Underscore Makeover, which you can follow me on as well. And I would please ask you to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like this content so that I can create more of what you like. Thank you so much and I look forward to connecting with you in the next video.